Don't stop. Family shop. Think Thayer. Come on, let's get rolling. Come on, let's get moving. Think Thayer. like to, to get out here and, and get this thing going. Oh, it's good to be outside, man. There's only so much video you can watch and chalkboard talk and things of that nature. It was, it was, it was great to get out here and watch these kids execute. Um, from your perspective, what kind of things do you have to get yourself accustomed to with this group and do they have to get accustomed to with you? Really, you know, the operations of our two systems are, are a little bit different. Uh, um, you know, I thought they did a great job of it today. You know, we got a lot of improvement that we've got to make, but for the most part, uh, uh, very pleased with, with the foundation that was laid today. What kind of reaction did you have on your first day getting to see these guys out here? And I know you've seen them around a little bit, but what's your, your reaction to the group that you've inherited now? Well, I just like I, said, like I told you from the beginning, blessed and, and fortunate to be here. They know how to work, man. There, there's, there's, a, there's a championship caliber work ethic here, um, and we're looking forward to, to, to continuing that. First day, a lot of optimism, no question. But for those of us who have seen the team last year, Matt Johnson gone, right. Roger Lewis gone, Garrett right. Dieter gone. Uh, your thoughts about filling those holes from some pretty right. high-profile guys? Great, great question. Hey, it's next man up. You know what I mean? Uh, they, they've won for a while here. Uh, if I believe last three or four years, and there's always been that next guy there. Um, the, the coverage's not bare. Uh, we've got a talented football team. Are we unexperienced? Yes. Yeah, um, and, um, we got we got to use this spring to to, to to get the most out of each and every rep we possibly can. Do you have a depth chart right now? I wouldn't call it a, a, a depth chart. Nothing's in stone. You know, we, we just kind of threw a couple guys out there and, and we had them all switching with ones and twos. And as as the week progresses or the next two weeks progress, uh, we'll probably get that to you probably in the spring. Is James the starter as of right now if you had to have a guy today? Uh, like I said, we don't have a depth chart right now. We've got those guys rolling. Uh, we'll get that to you by the end of spring. Is it kind of like, you know, everyone has a clean slate? There's no doubt, man. I mean, we're just trying to create a competitive environment. You know, I mean, you, you guys know. There's some guys that have more experience than others. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, and are they, you know, do they have an edge, uh, <laughs> so to say? Uh, you'd like to think so, but but you never know. But uh, the, we're going to compete in a competitive environment, uh, like I said, not on a weekly basis, but on a daily basis. Biggest difference for you day one at Texas Tech between day one at Bowling Green? Much better at Bowling Green. Um, and again, that has a lot to do with, with the fact that, um, that BG was running a, a tempo offense prior to us getting here, you know, and again, you know, the quarterback, you know, I, I, I could be wrong, you know, I, I just got here, but I think he played in a MAC championship game before. So uh, the operations were fairly smooth. I was excited about it. I'm sure you had a, an, an initial feeling about this team. Do you feel better now that you've seen them or worse now that you've seen them? <laughs> hey, pretty much right on par, man. You know, I mean, they, uh, like I told you previously, uh, they know how to work, man. And, and, that, and that's where it all starts. You know, as long as they've got that right mindset, we'll, we'll be able to, to, to develop and, and continue to improve and, and get the operations of our system down.